Okay, hello YouTube. Uh, welcome to another full clear, full gameplay video for Hecarim. Uh This game we are against Kha'Zix, which is pretty hard matchup if you don't know how to play against it. This game I'll show you how to play against it and how to easily win this game. Where they have champions like Mordekaiser who can just ult you and get you out of the team fight. Let me just lower the music. There we go. So what you do in the early game is just full clear. It doesn't matter if you don't smite Grump. You just move on to the next camp. Make sure to keep your Q stacks on at all times in your games. It's super important because it gives you more damage by 10% and it also gives you cooldown on the cooldown on the Q. So grab your Q stacks, level up Q, keep your Q stacks. We see Kha'Zix just finished his red buff. He's doing his Raptors. So we're just gonna smite this for faster clear. Use W for the healing and more damage. And then finish off with a Q. Your Q does 96 damage if you use these runes, which I'm showing right now. Attack speed, attack damage, and armor. Okay, now we just use W for more damage. Turn it off and a Q at the end. There we go. So now we can easily go for Scuttle. We know we know the Kha'Zix is topside, so we're gonna take Skull first. And then just wait a bit, get Q stacks. It's gonna die to red buff. And now we can easily invade. He's gonna come back. We're gonna drag him back in here. He's gonna flash, we're gonna kill him. We're not gonna clear his jungle for him because that's gonna reset. And we don't really want his jungle to reset. So we're gonna go for the second skull. We're gonna gank. Wait for the flash. Keep auto attacking. And there we go. Clean kill. Get our level 5 at 4 minutes. And focus on to the next. Uh, next skull. So we get double skull. After we get double skull. We wanna go full clear or gank top. So we need to look at top lane to see if it's gankable. So top lane is very well gankable. So we get our E, pop our potion, he's gonna flash. Nope, okay, no man. No flash for him, we just take the wave to push it and we full clear from here. There you go. Just full clear again from top to bot to make sure our clear is efficient. We don't need to wait, we actually we can smile, it doesn't matter for faster clear basically and get our level six uh, before six minutes. So we're gonna get level six at 520, keep Q stacks, so auto attack Q. We see mid lane struggling, so this means we're gonna have to help him. So we're gonna clear Raptors into a mid gank. And there we go. So he's super low, which means it's a very easy dive. When they are this low, it's a very easy dive. I'll show you how to dive. So, just need to see. Did he ward us? No, he didn't. Okay. He used all his mana. I need to get vision of him. Okay. E. Ult. Get feared. Out of the tower. No mind. I expected Silas to go in, but he didn't go in. That's fine. At least we tried. 
We just finished playing our jungle. It's really good if you have a duo and they know what you're gonna do and they're gonna go in on your place. But I'm playing solo so I have to rely on myself to carry the game. Okay, so we're gonna be going for Dustblade, get Oracles and go blue buff. So we see Skull spawning, so Skull just spawned on the minimap. So we're gonna take blue buff for the mana and cooldown reduction. I would always recommend uh, buying boots. Let me just lower the music a little bit, like that. I would always recommend buying boots first back because it's such an OP item. Just these boots for 300 gold. They don't cost much, but they are super OP. So I would always highly recommend them. Just seeing that's gonna die, that's fine. Check for wards for mid lane to see if Kha'Zix is gonna gank. Nope. Okay, then we're gonna keep clearing our jungle. We see red buff spawning in five seconds. You can also see at the top when you press tab. So we're gonna move towards red buff, clearing wolves and raptors. There you go. Get our raptors and get our red buff. So right now we are super strong. We are 3-0. We are probably at least two levels ahead of enemy jungler. Which means we can easily do dragon. Easily do dragon. Easily gank mid as well. Check for any wards. Press ghost, press E. That's fine. If she flashes for my ult, that's super worth. So now we know flash mid. It's gonna come back at 14 minutes. We can time it. Because flash is 5 minute cooldown. Even though I have 2 smites, I'm gonna wait until it gets low. So I don't get uh, stolen. Stolen dragon. There you go. Get our bot side and back. Because we can get our dust blade already. We got our red smite as well. Which is super nice. There we go. Now we can just... Uh, a bullet is coming. We can actually do this. Well, they come. They're gonna have to go in straight away. Focus the ADC at all times. Tristan has W, so she's gonna slow. We're gonna pick up the kill. Tristan can jump out. No good. Make sure there's no wards, and we can easily get. Okay, Soraka. <laughs> Sor Soraka trolled me a bit, but that's fine. We don't hate on anyone. Hmm. She walked into the bush and queued to get aggro. So the minions focused me. <laughs> so that's why uh, my back got stopped, if you're wondering. So they have AD, AD and 3 AP. So which means we're going to go for max. Mercury threads. Gives us tenacity and also gives us magic resistance, which is super good. We know skull spawn top side, so we can easily go for that. There's your, there's our best friend. We can just one shot him. We dodge his abilities. There we go. I'm going invisible whenever we kill someone or get an assist. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So we are like Kha'Zix basically. With Dustblade we are like Kha'Zix. We get a kill 
or assist we go invisible they can't see us and we can easily get to the back line like this so we're gonna take the rift herald so top lane just died so i need to help mid actually so we saw mid is pretty much nearly dead I don't I don't think I can one shot her. So I'm just gonna help him. Help him push the wave so he can back. Because he needs to back. If anything we can dive with her. There we go. Easy dive. Get uh get tower plates. Actually I'm gonna try getting get more plates. Just spawned it. It's gonna focus the herald. I can get another two plates. There you go. I can try getting a tower. But I need to have enough mana for E to run away. There's Kha'Zix. Easy tower. He has isolate damage. We don't really want to fight isolate damage, so that's why we stay within minions. That's it. Because we know if we are isolated, he's gonna kill us. But if we if we have minions, he won't do much damage. So remember that, guys. That's what you have to do against Kha'Zix. Stay with minions. It's super important because his isolation damage is like three times. The usual, and he his Q uh, gets reset as well. I'm just getting Grump for mana, so I can go mid lane. Use the sword. Oh, yikes! I messed up a bit, but that's fine. Just E her. If she flashes, I'm gonna ult uh, after her. There you go. Easy kill. We go invisible. Drake spawning in 15. So ideally we wanna. Oh no mind. Kozik is going top side. I don't know why. And no mind. He's going back mid. <laughs> he doesn't know what he wants. So we get our E. Stop his. Uh, stop his dash. Using E. And that's a free dragon. Free infernal because enemy jungler died. So they have no smite to contest. Should be an easy dragon. Because now we have mid prior, bot prior. There's our Tristana coming in. And that's an easy infernal drake for you. Now we're just gonna clear our bot side before we back. Even though we have nearly 4k gold. We wanna just quickly back. Uh, before, uh, after we clear our bot side, mm, there you go. Okay, now we cleared bot side. We can back, get ourselves more lethality items. So we go assassin stab. We find yo uh, collector is super good as well. So collector Yomus get pickaxe for more ID. See how his bot lane doing. We can, we should help bot lane because Ash is trying to get fed. She's two one and our ADC is zero two. So we want to pretty much shut uh, shut down Ash. Our collector will give us extra twenty five gold per kill, which is super good for us. So that's extra twenty five. And Triumph gives us extra gold as well. So we focus the ADC always, guys. Remember? Okay. She ran away. I'm not gonna catch her. Actually, now I, now I am. So we dash, dodge the ult, and quick, quick kill. There we go. Check for any wards. We can kill Blitz. We're just waiting for minions to come. Waiting for minions, he's gonna hook me, he's not gonna do any damage. Game out, tower range, and then auto attack to death. There we go. We don't wanna really kill him 
on the tower because tower is gonna do a lot of damage to us because we're building one shot build so yeah we're gonna give archer stunner the cannon gold Okay, we saw Kha'Zix there, he's gonna have blue buffs spawning soon, so I don't mind taking it, I'm just waiting for it. I saw Kha'Zix spike. So we're gonna stop his, like he flashed again, <laughs> it's kind of funny with his jumps. So we failed, uh, we made him fail his E ability again. I'm just gonna keep my Q stacks at all times. I have ult coming up. Oh, that's a really bad play by him. Because now, after we get, we are invisible, now we're invisible, we can easily proc. We can easily dive this. And we get out. There we go. Easy triple for us. So Kha'Zix went in with like 0 HP, which basically made me get invis after I killed him. And then keep on chasing them. Okay, our next item is Yomus for that movement speed. And then we're gonna go for... For having a Hydra to heal up all the damage we take. We're gonna pop Yomus while we go to our jungle camp. We should do Herald before 20 minutes because the second Herald despawns at uh, 20 when Baron spawns. Uh, let's see. Does she need help? I don't think she needs help. She's fine. So we're gonna go for Herald. Mm -hmm. Easy Herald. Shouldn't be any trouble. We're super ahead. Even if they know I'm doing this. It doesn't matter. Uh, just seeing what is my team doing. Let's just ping them to back off and focus on clearing our jungle Because dragon spawns in 40 minutes and we want a path towards dragon So we're gonna clear from top to bot towards dragon So always keep your Q stacks and Clear from top to bot. So we're gonna pop your moves because we won't make the Q. No man <laughs> We won't Okay um, so we can clear one more camp, which is gonna be the Krugs. Before we have to go to Drake. We wanna keep our jungle clear efficient. So that's why we path towards one way, basically. Instead of going from middle, uh, going fr from like Raptors to Krugs and then to Wolves, it makes our clear super inefficient. So that's why we wanna make it like into one line. Uh, everyone died top lane, that's fine. We should just focus on ourselves. Because we can't change teammates, but we can change ourselves. So we're gonna go for red buff. For that extra slow and extra damage. So we see... We see Kha'Zix somewhere. We saw Kha'Zix somewhere here. Just need to find him. Oh, there he is. Okay. Okay, we're gonna use Yomus. Get behind. Ult. Get Kha'Zix feared. So we need to get to him. No, he's dead. There we go. Both ran away, but we got Kha'Zix. It's fine. Let's focus on getting mid tower. Because we killed Kha'Zix. Easy kill. We're invisible, they can't see us. Now we pop Ghost. We go invisible again. Dodge Diana's ult. And spawn Herald. Pop our E for more damage. We get easy tower without using Herald. And now we should be able to get at least one of the Nexus Towers. At least. 
This arrow does so much damage. He basically just one shots it. There you go. We go invisible to, so they can't see us. Keep our Q stacks, remember. I have 10 Conqueror stacks and I have 2 Q stacks. There we go. Thank you for watching my video and see you on the next one.